Aloha, everybody. My name is Amira Bath, and I am here to talk to you about Wisdom Wear, Crystal Infused Sacred Geometry Clothing. If you're not familiar with Wisdom Wear, we micronize crystals into dust, mix them in with the ink, and then put them onto sacred geometry on clothing. So I use organic bamboo, organic hemp, and cotton clothing. And my goal is to raise the collective consciousness of, um, of this planet one shirt at a time through the crystals and through geometry. So the crystals that I use aren't, aren't just any kind of crystals. They are actually the Andara stones from Northern California. So if Andaras are new for you, if you've never heard of an Andara crystal, I have the one and only uh, Mr. Mickey Magic here to tell us all about them. Now, Mickey has been designated by a woman named Lady Nellie. The crystals all came from her property in Northern California, and she has designated him. He was the chosen one to be the steward and kind of like the adoption agency for the Andara crystals. So if you have an Andara, it must come through Mickey Magic, or it may or may not be the real deal. So here to talk to you a little bit more about um, how special these crystals are is Mickey Magic. Hi, y'all. <laughs> well, uh, Andars are very special. They've changed my life immeasurably. And um, about 20 years ago, I met Lady Nellie. Uh, I was with a friend, and she introduced me to her, and she had them all over her yard. And I kind of was looking at him thinking, this is just glass, you know, and ended up she told me that I needed to, uh, that she had one for me that, she didn't say I had to buy it, but she said that one will help me. It was me calling, with, calling to Call you. into me. Yes. And it was a, a large emerald, emerald green. It was 115 pounds emerald green. And I ended up buying it because I liked what she did with helping children and other stuff. Thought I'd support her and it was pretty. But I no way believed that they had anything going on other than they were just some slag glass. And in the meantime, once I got it home, my neighbors were affected, and I never told them why or anything. And I just, uh, I was affected. And by the end of three weeks, that's how long it used to take to calibrate it. You on it with an Andar, but now you can actually be calibrated in moments. So what makes the Andaras so special? Like what is it about them that are different from other crystals that are available to us? Well for one thing an Andara is monoatomic. Monoatomic is, it, monoatomic comes from the Ethereum which is also found on Nellie's land. A lot of things are found on Nellie's land. The water is as good as they have in Shasta and the, the, that was wanted to be bought out but Nellie wouldn't give in. It has diamonds, it has uh, opals it has ethereum so and what ethereum, does the ethereum do for us ethereum is a monoatomic for for one thing on a on the linear level it is one of the rarest stones on the planet as far as there's 75 there was 75 uh, stones that carried minerals including trace minerals in proportion to be used by human beings or other life forms. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the U.S. government tested the Andaras, they said, well, now there's 76. And of all the other, of all the 76, this is the most perfect formed and in proportion and ratio uh, with the minerals that a human body needs that of, of all 76 of them. This is very amazing. Right. So I've heard you refer to these as like a stone of higher consciousness. Yes. So what do you mean by that? Well, a lot of people will say that there's something, you know, they become, these become like friends to them. They become actually like friends. And so they're very personal. And, you know, when, if you were to write me from, I, I sell them all over the world. If you were to write me, I would want a little more information about you or just to get your frequency. And that will align me to be the proxy to choose for you. And so they will start, for, for one thing, when you get them, get ready to be taken along and accelerated. Uh, really fast. Really fast. Yeah, and I know when I started collecting Andaras, like they would talk to me yes. at night. They and they will actually keep you awake. And yes, if I have two or more in bed with me, sometimes I sleep with my crystals, they'll talk to each other. <laughs> and and th they'll have a tendency to keep you awake. So, you know, I have to separate them. But they do things to you in your dream state. Like they change you, like on a cellular level, 
yeah, they in your do. dream state. And they come in all these fantastic colors that we don't really have here on Earth. Um, they're just incredibly unique, high vibrational crystals. And I think even looking at them here, um, you oh, can yeah. get like a, a really intense feel and activation. And what you're holding there is called an elder crystal. An so elder tell us crystal. about that. <clears throat> elder comes in, uh, well, the emerald green that I bought was an elder. Uh, there's champagne, which is really f a fun color. That's uh, the archetype of the child. The green one was the archetype of the mother. And then you've got... Uh, Ones that are like this are blue-green, and there's some that are very, very few anymore that are actually blue. And then there's some that are green-blue. They're mm -hmm. a little more green in them. And then there's just some silver ones, and you got, of course, the brown one, which is the... All elders are grounding. Or, they're kind of uh, like the grandparent crystals. Is that a good way to put them? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like the, the wise ones? They're the wise ones. That's what I call them, yeah. the wise ones. The elders, you know, that in reference to their wisdom and their guidance. And it's grounded wisdom, whereas a colored one gives you a lot of great information. And my suggestion is you get a little brown and have it with it because that will ground you to integrate it into taking form on the planet. Otherwise, if you just have this going through your head. They're kind of like teenagers. Yeah, they, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna accomplish anything with them because you gotta, you gotta be grounded. Right, so, so when I use these in my healing practice, I actually put them on our 13 chakras, um, on, our, on my client's 13 chakras along and above their body and activate each, each energy center through the Andaras. And so the Andaras will, how would you describe what they do as a channeling stone or as a, as a healing stone? Well, the healing stone, what they do is they work on your heart mm -hmm. and your DNA. Mm -hmm. So the working with your heart makes you, uh, a, it can help you to be a lot more receptive to who you are. You know, I, 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 the, the journey I'm on now and I have only in the last couple of years realized that I am learning to love my shadow as much as my light. And, and, right. and these have helped tremendously to bring that part that of all parts of me are, are fine. Yeah, they, they really integrate that idea of, of becoming a higher conscious being, a fully integrated being in a human suit. Yeah. And at the same time, it's like they're as, they give you that as above, so below kind they, of effect. They remind into you, the they, they help you to remember. Yeah. They help you to remember who you were, and, but still stay here. A lot of people want... Well, just by the colored ones and not have the grounding effect of an elder because they want they don't want to be here. A lot of people don't want to be here. They'd rather right. use it as an escape. Whereas you get an elder and it will definitely keep you grounded mm -hmm. and it will help you to take all the things that you are bringing in as far as the higher guidance and bring it into form yeah, and, so that and we could be of service to, to the many. So fun. So from my perspective, the reason I started using the Andara dust, and I literally take the dust from the Andaras, and you can see like the beautiful color spectrum that that is included in here. Um, I've got to break these down a little bit more to be able to go into the ink, but the dust is infused into the ink onto the sacred geometry on Wisdom Wears Clothes. So if you're new to sacred geometry, it's like wearing the thumbprint of God. Sacred geometry, this is called Metatron's Cube. This is the flower of life. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, sacred geometry is literally the, the exit point out of the matrix. It will connect you to, it'll align you with the blueprint of all of creation and align you to the blueprint of God. So when you have the combination of the geometry on your body, and, and all my clothes are double printed. I've got a big ohm on the back there. Mickey's got the, <laughs> the chakras. Ladies, when, back there, when, you wear, when you wear sacred, sacred geometry, you are literally interconnected with everybody who has a wisdom wear shirt. So we're working together individually to raise our own vibration. And then we're also working together as a collective. Um, I have a vision to put 144,000 people in wisdom wear clothes. Um, I feel that will reach a vibrational tipping point as a collective that will help the planet when 144,000 people are walking around in, you know, and right now I just have shirts guys, but I've got women's dresses coming. I'm gonna have some active wear coming. I'm gonna start doing um, sheets and pillowcases because 
who doesn't want to sleep on crystal infused sacred geometry pillowcases, right? Right. Organic bamboo. Or can, can you think about that? Yeah. All, all kinds of oh, things will be coming. Idea. So the, the, there oh, will be brilliant. so so many ways for you to infuse the magic of sacred geometry and the magic of the Andara stones. And this is one of my favorite right here. My, my pendant, you can also get them in, in, in pendant forms, um, to get this out to the collective on a massive, massive scale. And, you know, when I started using the Andaras, um, I really noticed a difference in how my clothes felt on me. Like, I, I, I noticed, like, my, my energetic vortex, my auric field felt stronger. I felt more grounded. I felt more connected. Um, you know, if you guys are having a bad day, I'm telling you, put a wisdom wear shirt on. <laughs> it will really change everything for you. So, you know, the whole concept of us working together for a planetary goal and the other goal wisdom wear, wear it has is um, I take 10% of all proceeds and I donate to an organization that takes care of the oceans. So this year I'm donating to the Surfrider Foundation of Kauai. Um, they're a lovely group of people who, who really care about the cleanliness and the quality of, of our oceans. They go out weekly and um, do, do cleanings on the oceans and educate people. Um, really important to me because my, my element is water. You know, I, my element, my energy is of the mer realm to do something to support uh, the oceans that, I mean, of course, we can't live without water, right? We can't live without our oceans. So stuff. when you invest in a wisdom wear short, you not only do something that is amazing for you and for the collective, you do something that's really powerful and healing for the planet as well. So thank you so much for, for coming pleasure. and joining me. Thanks do you for ever inviting me. Do you ever, like, just taste it? Like, just put I've, a little... I've eaten a lot. Put a little on your tongue? And I've been cut a million times. I, am I glowing? Because <laughs> I feel now like I have the inner glow from, you were, you from were, the end. You were glowing before, girl. <laughs> this was really fun. Thank you for educating us. Um, the Andaras come from Northern California. Um, there, there was a kind of a rumor going around for a long time that they came from Mount Shasta. I believe that rumor too. It's, it's not actually quite Mount Shasta, but it does carry the energy of Northern California and that really grounding um, earthy energy, that root chakra energy that, um, um, that Mount Shasta area carries in Northern California. And of course, all your clothes are made here on Kauai by me, which means you get crown and third eye. You get the grounding energy that comes through your Wisdom Wear shirt, and you get tons of um, beautiful Aloha spirit from Amerabeth and Wisdom Wear. You can find me at wisdomwear.org. I ship worldwide, of course. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me through the website. I've got a great online shop, and um, I, I am thankful, grateful for all of you for watching this video and uh, participating in the amazing experiment and experience that is Wisdom Wear. Thank you. <laughs> Aloha.